Hi guys, this is Amar and welcome to Amar Tech Stuff. So guys, in the last video, uh, we have seen that uh, Gaurav and the branch uh, users were not able to access this particular web server. Uh, both the users, that is Gaurav and also the branch users were not even able to ping 20.1.1.100. But we made certain changes on this router uh, and uh, we also made certain changes on this particular edge router. Guys, if you have not watched that video, you can watch that video. Uh, I'll give the link of that video in the I uh, button of this particular video and also in the description section of this video so you can have a look and as I told in the last video if you need this lab you can just mail me on amal.textafeder.gmail.com I'll uh, mail you this particular uh, lab I'll mail you the location for this particular lab so we troubleshooted somehow and Gaurav was able to ping 20.1.1.100 and he was also able to access the HTTP port uh, that is the services HTTP service for that web server too and he was very happy but the branch users are not happy because they're able to ping but but they're not able to access HTTP port or the HTTP services of this particular web services we can just I'll just take you to that particular uh, uh, branch office PC so this was the PC branch office PC and uh, I'll just show you that we were able to ping it you can see that we are able to ping 20.1.1.100 and also here is the trace route I checked so trace it is the command so 20.1.1.100 you can see the trace route this is 40.1.1.1 which is uh, this interface gig interface and then 12.1.1.1 which is router HQ router and of course 20.1.1.100 is the uh, is the is the web server so so this is how uh, the traffic is moving uh, I'll just show you that from here the traffic is moving to the branch router from branch router it is going through this WAN link to the HQ router and then it is coming down in the LAN and it is getting over here that this is the ICMP eco packet and then that eco response is also going uh, via this path so it is also going eco response is also going well that is the reason why we are able to actually get the ping response uh, but but http is not working that is uh, we can say this h t t p we checked was not working so so also let's verify that also once so i also verify that i'll just go on to this branch router sorry this branch PC and I'll open this web browser and I'll just paste over here like HTTP eventually I'll just type it now okay so 20.1.1.100 and you can see here guys we're not able to we're not able to access it so so what will be an issue the issue will be so you can see here that request timeout is coming so the issue will be uh, between maybe between uh, any of the devices which are coming in the path of this particular uh, particular uh, communication so won't be an issue maybe uh, for this switches uh, we can just check this branch uh, router maybe an issue with that or we can check this HQ router maybe an issue with this so what will I do is first of all check this branch router especially I'll check this particular interface that is serial 0 slash 1 slash 0 because that is the interface which is getting connected to the uh, HQ router and through which the communication is happening I eventually I will also check this gig 0 slash 0 whether any restrictions are there on the branch router so what I will do is I will just give show run I have to check gig 0 slash 0's uh, configuration so here it is there is no much configuration done over here only an IP address of 40.1.1.1 .1 is given there is as such no restriction over here uh, let's check for this particular interface serial 0 slash 1 slash 0 so let me check for that so serial 0 slash 1 slash 0 you can see over here that a description is given IP address is given 12.1.1.2 and some uh, clock rate is given so it won't restrict any traffic so that's look fine I'll go on to this HQ router now so let me go and check over here here also I have to check the LAN and WAN interface so let me first check this particular LAN interface that is uh, this particular interface I'm checking guys 
this particular interface. You can see the configuration of this particular interface over here. So you can check the configuration that it is getting connected to the edge switch, which is correct. Uh, IP address is not configured because we have configured the IP addresses to the, uh, to the sub interfaces because it is router on stick. You can see over here. So that is, that is fine. And uh, one more thing what we need to check here is the configuration for this serial 0 slash 1 slash 0. So I'll just go down serial 0 slash 1 slash 0. Now here you can see that uh, you know description is given which is okay. IP address is given which is okay. But here you can see that this is the command IP access group that is used to define an access list under the interface and the access list name is uh, branch underscore ACL and it is applied inbound. So this is the ACL which is applied inbound means whatever traffic is going to come inside this interface for that the ACL is applied. Okay, so let's check that particular ACL. What I'll do is I'll go into this particular router uh, the ACL name is branch underscore ACL. So I'll just check this ACL show IP access list. This is the command to check the ACL followed by branch underscore ACL. So you can see that this is the ACL. This is an extended IP access list. And uh, you can see certain IPs are permitted. Some, so, so, something is denied. And uh, you can see over here that uh, like permit TCP any host 10.1.1.100 uh, equal to www which is HTTP it is allowed for 10.1.1.100 okay so this means that any traffic you know any source is allowed to this particular destination that is 10.1.1.100 which is web server 1 on port number www which is http 80 port number so let's check whether from branch of office we were able to access it or not let me check once because we should be able to access 10. http 10.1.1.100 Yes, we are able to access 10.1.1.100, but we are not able to access 20.1.1.100. So that is the problem statement. So what I'll do is I'll just go on checking this particular ACL. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is the router. Okay. So I need to also have the rule for uh, or the access list entry for 20.1.1.100, but I'm not finding it over here because since the entry is not present for 20.1.1.100 for uh, HTTP, it is getting denied because there is uh, there is a deny over here. Uh, there is an implicit deny at the end because if there is no entry permit entry present in this ACL, it, the traffic is going to get denied. So what I'll, I, I, I can do is I can just create or uh, let me just configure an entry in that. So I do give this command IP access list extended branch underscore ACL. This name should be correct. And the entry which should I make is similar to this entry. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll just type it for you. So I'll do it like permit TCP because it is a TCP port and uh, the source can be any because the traffic is coming inwards the serial interface. So any and the destination, I'll keep it as 20.1.1.100. Okay, so you can see like this, you can keep it like host, host also keyword you can use or you can use the subnet mask. I'll give you a question mark and tell you. See, yeah, you can keep the wildcard marks. So I, the wildcard marks for slash uh, 32 is uh, 0.0.0.0. .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 zero and uh, followed by the port number. Now I can give here 80 and also you can see a port number 80 HTTP for www. So I can give it like uh, www. Okay. So I just end over here. Now I just need to check whether that entry is present or now. 
Here you can see the entry is present. Permit TCP any host 20.1.1.100. Now there should be no deny statement above this particular entry because it will deny anyways. But I am not seeing any deny statement which is denying this particular IP destination IP. So it's okay. I think so. So let me now try whether I am able to get the access from the branch. So what I'll do is go into the branch PC. Okay. Uh, first of all, I should be able to ping. I was able to ping. Let me check it whether it is. So I'm still able to ping. That's good. So I'll go into the web browser and I'll check now HTTP 20.1.1.100. Now guys, you can see that I'm able to access from the branch PC also. So the problem statement was that uh, there was an ACL. There is in fact an ACL which is applied in the indirection in direction of this particular router. So whatever traffic is going to come inside this particular router on this particular interface that is serial zero slash one slash zero. There's an, there was an ACL name branch underscore ACL which was applied. So it was restricting the traffic uh, for 20.1.1.100 since it was not allowed in that ACL. Uh, the traffic for web server one was allowed, but the traffic for web server 20 was not allowed. So what we did, we did and uh, we, we actually entered an uh, ACL uh, entry that is access list entry in that particular ACL permitting any uh, permitting the traffic from any source because there will be multiple source over here. So permitting IP from any source to this particular destination over port uh, 80. So again, we can also define in the source some particular IP address if you have certain IP address, but but in this case, I have to uh, you know put it at any only the source as any. So I put the source as any and destination. I was aware that it should be 20.1.1.100 and also the port number I was aware. So, so, so this is how we troubleshoot this issue. Uh, as, as, as I told in the beginning of this video that if you're not watched the, uh, the uh, earlier video, you can just check the earlier video. Uh, and if you want this lab, you can just mail me on this particular, uh, particular email address that is amar.techstuff at gmail.com. And you can also follow me on my Insta ID, uh, amar.techstuff, uh, which will, you, again, you will find the uh, link in the description section of this video. Uh, guys, I'll stop here in this video. Uh, hopefully you like this video, uh, this troubleshooting video. I am trying to bring out uh, more such cases of troubleshooting videos, uh, which will which will give you uh, which will give you some some idea regarding to troubleshooting, and which will of course help uh, to enhance your troubleshooting skills. The approach building for troubleshooting is very important. Uh, that is the whole purpose of this videos. So guys, if you really like this videos, uh, please do like this video, comment on this videos. It actually motivates a lot to make such videos. And uh, at the end, please do share and subscribe to my channel. I'm a tech stuff. I'll catch up in the next video. Till then, bye. Thanks and take care.